If you struggle to know which career path to choose, then this video is for you. Mind you, in this video, I'm not deciding what exactly you're going to do. I'll just be giving you suggestions on the likely path that you're going to fit in. Hello, my name is Okpeyo Levy. On this channel, I focus on personal and career development. And today, I'll be talking about how to decide the career that is best fit for you. So if you know you are interested in this or you know someone that is interested, please call them in. Let's do this together. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button and on the notification bell. Of course, also like my channel if you like what I'm doing. All right, let's go on. First thing I would urge you is to be open-minded. I know a lot of us have a lot of struggle trying to figure out what we want to do with our career, which particular career should you choose. Are you in high school and you are yet to decide which particular job role is best fit for you? Or probably you are even working already and you are not really comfortable with what you are doing, you are still trying to think about it, which is best for you okay please just calm down and be open-minded because thing is a whole lot of us too are trying to figure it out so you see you're not alone on this and today i'll be sharing with you four steps that you can actually go through in order to decide the best career path for you at this time okay at this time, I would like you to get your journal and your pen because we are going to put in a lot of things. You can see on the board, so we have to do yourself, we have the research options, make a plan and take action. So I'll be taking all of these steps one after the other because we're going to be breaking them down into segments. Now you know yourself, so we'll be focusing on self-assessment. As you can see at the upper part of the board under self-assessment you have the interest you have the personality then the skills and strengths lifestyle and work value so talking about the interest what drives you what are the things that interest you what are the things that inspire you so for you it can be relationship it can be self-worth it can be your ability to impact people and for someone it can just be passion next one is Talking about your skills and strengths, it is very important that you realize that focusing on your strength will actually help you because your strength is something that you enjoy doing. So when you actually find a career that aligns with your strengths, it helps you to be exceptional and to triumph excellently in that particular area so what do you think are your strengths now, talking about your lifestyle okay what kind of environment do you think you would thrive in are you the type that like to freestyle like you want to work anywhere in the world or are you the type that like to dress corporate and be in the office like a ceo working to the office and all all of those little points will actually help us to determine the kind of career path that is best fit for you so another part is what are your values so for some they are much more interested in helping people making impact in life but for some it is about money not all of these things down because it's going to guide us in determining the type of career that is best fit for you it is time for us to go through the research section and this is actually going to help us because it is better you research the industry that you want to work in because it is good that you know if it's something that is going to fade away now or something that will continue to grow in the later future so it is very important that you make your research clean and clear and um, in this particular section I'm going to be using three countries we have the US we have um, Australia and um, of course we're going to be using Nigeria <laughs> so I'll just give you a brief touch on each of it so now checking through the US Bureau of Labor Statistics as you've seen it already now this is the employment projection and we have the employment by major industry sectors this is just to give you a view about the industry sectors so you have idea about the kind of industry that you think you can fit in and of course the employment projection as you can see i'm not limiting hers 
to Nigeria because it is very good that we check other developed countries so that we are not we do not slack behind. Sure you get. <laughs> so let's move on to the Nigeria. Um, I'm going to be using the Joba Man, and of course I'm going to put the link in the description section. So don't worry, you are fully covered. So for Nigeria, we're using the Joba Man. This is a 2021 job market in view how it went through and um, these are the top 10 industries that were in high demand and supply as you can see here high tea and telecom seem to be raging as number one both in supply and in demand followed by banking and finance then health then health and home like that so it is very important that you conversance with something that is in demand of course what is in demand today might to become um, less in demand tomorrow but it's very good that you at least you can forecast all of these things so now let's go on to the australia i think i really enjoy this particular one using this job outlook this actually is very very informative oh now you can now you can go through you can use the career quiz you can use the career quiz you can of course use the skill match on this for people who are thinking of changing jobs so thinking of changing jobs see the skills match that can help you that show you where your um skill can fit in but another part is you can actually explore careers here and this for people who are starters this is a good a good path for you so you can actually explore we have 358 careers that we're giving as example here now look at accountants you have the weekly pay at the moment the future growth is very strong and of course the skill level is very high but for someone who wants to fall into this category you must be well skilled that means you must acquire not just the soft skills but the technical skills unlike accounting clerks and all okay so in order for us to be more specific i'll just pick from um, a particular industry and of course i'm looking for the financial okay this is the financial and insurance service industry i think i prefer that this time apply filter now okay so now moving 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 so you can see that jobs like this say you're working you, you intend to be an auditor or you love the auditing jobs and how you can see that this is the future growth the future growth is also strong and the skill is in high demand now this is a shocker for a lot of people i hope it's not shocking you right now that bank worker actually the future growth is declining and most times when you talk about bank worker what it means is um say teller say people who work in teller cashiers and all the future good for this job room is declining because and the skill level is medium of course it doesn't mean that you cannot work here but it's just giving you a sign that building a career here might not be um strong enough and also you can always scan through all of these and see what is really going of course it managers will always keep going this is probably won't eat our money this time so this is just to give you an idea about the kind of job that you can do and if you go to the industry industry sector here okay so you can explore industries here as well so this gives you um the ability to read through so you can read through what each of this industry covers and is to give you knowledge researching is very important it is very important because for someone like me i think initially i used to think uh, because i like talking i'll be a lawyer but then when i read through like check through what's <laughs> becoming a lawyer in encompass is not just about talking like it's not just about talking there are a lot of things to it so we need to check this to be sure that okay this is what you really want the fact that you like relating with people does not make you hr personnel so note that so you have to be very very um 
deliberate about this this particular area is something that a lot of people shy away from because we are always very reluctant to read and all but it is very good that you take cognizance of this in order to help you decide the perfect career to choose or if you want to switch career the perfect area to switch into of course you can also get a mentor to help you with that story for another day please let's move on to the next point okay so having gone through the first and the second step when you're done with the research step now you have an idea about what you want to do or an area in which you can fit in the next thing is to make plans and making plans start from your mindset yeah so you have to renew your mindset you have to tell yourself yes you can do this yes you can make it work yes you can make it happen a lot of challenges will actually come on your way but you must be determined and you must renew your mindset about these things so i have, i know a lot of us have the struggle that can is it really possible can i achieve this you need to take things slowly as well don't be in a rush don't be in a rush to accomplish things that people um, after 20 years are getting do you get it so just take it slowly and take it a step at the time after winning your mindset the next thing to do is to upgrade your skill yes in all of this beyond the soft skills you might have identified your soft skills your strength and hope but under the job descriptions you can see that there are some skills that are actually required that are actually the technical skills so it is very important that you get conversant with these technical skills the last step is take action so beyond the paperwork beyond the thinking beyond the imagination you have to take action it's not impossible that you don't have it all figured out yet so waiting till everything makes sense will actually restrain you from taking the right decision all right guys i really hope you enjoy my tips today i hope you enjoy every steps i'm taking you through and i hope you to be sincere about this write these things down note these things because it's really going to enable you to determine or to decide the career paths you want if you are interested in maybe your resume presentation how to attend interviews your communication skills don't forget to click on the subscription button also the notification bell so you can always get notified anytime we are here do you like what i do please click on the like button as well all right see you guys again in my next episode on career goals all right bye